Welcome to Now Found. My name is Courtney Cohen. Why is it today that there seems to be this attitude that children are a burden? Why is it that our occupational desires, our feelings, our fears tend to take precedence over our kids? When our firstborn was about eight months old, we announced to our family that we were expecting again, and we got the looks. Why so soon? Are you sure you want to do this? And we were thinking, um, it's kind of a done deal. Baby's on her way. Like, we're having a second. Yay! And we just, we got some interesting responses at having our first two so close in age. And then fast forward four or five years, and we decided we're going to foster. We would love to adopt some more kids because we can't have any more biologically. Um, and honestly, adoption was always in our plan. We decided we'll go the foster care route and see how that works for us. And we got confusion. Why would you take on that inconvenience? Why would you take on that heartache? Well, that foster baby ended up going back to her family in a, a good situation, and we decided to close our home for a while. Years later, we decide, okay, it's time. We're going to adopt. We chose to go the private route that time, and we wanted to adopt a baby. We're all getting a little bit older, so we wanted to have our, our last infant experience, and we got doubt. Like, really? I mean, you have a boy, you have a girl, you've got great kids, you've, you've got things going on, you own a company, you're, you're doing all sorts of things. Why would you start all over with a baby? I mean, private adoption, that's really expensive. Don't you know how expensive that is? Are you sure you can handle it? Can you homeschool and have a baby at the same time? So we just, we got a lot of interesting reactions, um, oddly enough, from family members who love us and want what's best for us, but they really, um, it, it took many of them a little time to catch on to our heart's desires and our vision for this whole process and our vision for expanding our family. There's this pervasive belief that more children equals more burden, which equals a worse life. Now, you and I know if you've ever been around a kid, even if you don't even have your own, if you've been around them, you know, they're not easy. It's not easy to raise a human being up into a grown adult who is loving and servant-hearted and responsible. It's not easy. But who said that life was supposed to be easy? Life was never easy with my first two. They come with their own struggles just like I came with struggles for my parents, I'm sure. But that's not a burden, that's an opportunity. Now regarding adoption, there's some people that have an attitude, why would you take on somebody else's problem? Hmm. So, just because my youngest daughter was not born from my body, doesn't mean that she isn't exactly where she belongs. She's not a problem. She is a privilege. It's a privilege to be entrusted with kids, whether they come from natural birth or the, whether they come through adoption or some other route. It's a privilege. And I think that we need to shift the way that we think about this. Instead of thinking from this mindset that I have to do this, I have to do that in order to be a parent, I have to get up and take care of my kid, how about we switch that? I get to. I get to. These, this last almost year, I have gotten the privilege of snuggling a newborn again every day. I have gotten the privilege of looking and seeing how God will provide, how he provides, not just financially, but emotionally. He provides that soul depth that I need. Now I get it. I'm an introvert. 
I am. I like my alone time. That's where I process and I think all the things and I recharge my batteries. I like my downtime, absolutely. But that doesn't take away from the fact that having these kids in my home and having them entrusted to me by a God who knows exactly who they are created to be, that is an overwhelming privilege. So let's treat it as such. I get to be a voice of healing and of purpose and of life and identity in a human being's life. I get to. My hope is that when other people see my family um, with just our three kids and especially other families we have where they've got four, five, eight, ten kids, that they would see these families not as burdens, not as people who don't know how this happened, but that they would see these families as privileged. It's a privilege. And can we just all agree to kind of come alongside each other and help out and love on them? Love on these kids and tell them you're wanted. You have a place here. And in that, our family, our families can be walking testimonies of God's goodness and his love and his provision. Today I have a book that I want to offer you, especially you moms. It's called The Intentional Mama, and this is a quick little ebook, but it is full of practical tips on how you can utilize little pockets of time to strengthen your bonds with your kids and still keep your sanity at the same time. So go check that out at nowfound.org, and while you're there, be sure to take a look at our other free resources available. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Just click the follow button and you will be sure not to miss anything. And always remember, you are never too lost to be found.